All right, folks, today I'm going to talk about a 1978 ultralinear model twin reverb. That's the 135 watt ultralinear twin. It's got a push pull master volume, two channels, uh, two 12 inch pile speakers, I believe. One has been reconed. It's got mostly USA tubes in it, and I picked it up for a smoking deal. It had a buzzing noise, and I adjusted the uh, output tube. Oh, put power tube. There's like a, a balance pot there. I adjusted it, all the buzzing went away. That's all I had to do to this amp. It needed nothing really. It's an excellent uh, amp. I also have a 73 twin reverb, and it's very similar. I'm not a big fan of the push pull boost, but you know what? You leave the volume on 10, the master volume, it sounds uh, awesome. That's my uh, guitar. I'm going to use just a Mexican strat. And on the left, over here, this is an actual 1959 twin, high power twee twin. I put this in the video to try and accommodate you guys to make up for my lousy playing. I'm not a great player, but I'll make up for my lousy playing with awesome gear. So there you go, I'm just showing it off, 59 twin. Uh, I haven't serviced it yet, but I'm about to. The parts just came in. I'm going to look after it and get it in gig worthy condition. So here we go, 78 ultra linear twin. <coughs> Reverb is on three, treble almost five, middle's on eight, bass on almost four. I can't hear really any reverb, but you guys are in a room here that kind of reverberates, so I'll try not to turn it up too high because. This is all this amp can offer. It's cranked. You may need uh, some modifications if you want to get a little more dirt out of it. But to me, the bass sounds really farty. I don't like it.
78 Ultra Linear Twin. I want to check back on my uh, YouTube page in a couple of weeks. I'll probably, I hope to be demoing this 59 Tweed Twin after I service it. Some people think I'm crazy for servicing it and I should sell it as is. It's all original and I'm probably throwing money away by servicing it, but you know what? I can't let a 59 Twin go through my hands and never hear it. I gotta service it. I gotta hear what it sounds like. I love Fender amps. It's not always about the money, folks. Anyways, have a good one.